name is Miss Melody and I'm the Assistant Director of Children's Ministries here at Bluegrass Church. Today we're going to talk about one of Jesus' parables. As Jesus traveled around the countryside with his disciples, he often taught large crowds of people by using parables. A parable is a story that Jesus used to help people understand what he wanted to teach them. Today I'm going to be talking about the parable of the sower. In Matthew 13, 1 to 23, Jesus told a story about a farmer who went out to plant his fields. As he was scattering the seeds, some of it fell on a path that was packed down hard. Do you know what happened? The bird saw it and swooped down and grabbed the seeds and gobbled it up. Well, some of the seed fell on the stony dirt, like this one. Do you know what happened to this? The seed started to grow really quickly but the roots were not able to grow deep. The sun came out and was so hot that the plants all died. Now some of the seeds fell on these thorn bushes, something like this. Do you think the plants grew well here? They started to grow, but the thorn bushes were hogging all of the sunlight and they were choked out by the baby plants. Some of the seeds fell onto the good soil, like this. Do you think they would grow here? Of course they would. Plants grew and grew and produced a lot of food. After Jesus told this story, his disciples came to him because they were confused. They asked him to tell them what the story meant. Jesus told them that the seeds represent the good news about God. The path of this dark, of this really hard dirt represents people that hear God's word but don't believe it. Then the enemy comes and quickly snatches it up. The rocky dirt over here is the people that hear God's word and get really excited about it, but their roots never go down into his word by studying and obeying the Bible. As soon as hardship came, they fell away from God. Now the soil with the thorns, that represents those that hear God's word and begin to grow but soon fall away because they are distracted by the things of this world and trying to please other people. Now the good soil is the person that hears God's word and understand it. They begin to do what it says that they grow and grow in their life to produce many good things. So what does that mean for us? If you learn from what you heard today and from going to church, the seed that Jesus plants in your heart will grow. Your life will produce good fruit just like Jesus intended. You will be helping others to grow in their knowledge and understanding of God's love. My challenge to you today is to go out and see if you can spread some of God's love through seeds of love. I hope to see you soon. Take care and God bless.